David Anthony explained to us about how there's four different colors of medicine. Each, there are four directions and these colors, a lot of them have different colors, as you find out. But the basic colors is your east is yellow, your south is red, your west is black, and your north is white. And if you look at those four colors, and you look in the east, that's when the sun comes up. And the sun comes up brings the new day. It also is a direction, I, uh, I, I don't know if the other names of America mentioned it, but that's usually for youth, the young people. If you go to the south, that's red, that you think of our women. Our women fit in that direction. Our mothers, sisters, grandmothers. If you look to the west, which is black, that's for men. That's for the men, the brothers, dads, grandmas, grandpas. When you go to the north, you're looking at white, looking at grandma and grandma. Michelle has been one Nicholas. So there's your four directions of life. But you also look at those four colors. Yellow, red, black, and white. Those are also the four races of the world that we live with in. You got your black race, yellow race, red race, and white race. Now if you look at some other tribes, they have different colors that fit in the air, but it's all basically the same thing. Life revolves around a circle. We are born and we die. And we travel in a directly direction at the end. But it's something that I started to learn about my culture, my heritage, my Native American culture. Because when I grew up, it wasn't cool to be Indian. I even got a t-shirt, which is not this one here, but it says, I was Indian before Indian was cool. But I've been doing this for 20 some years now, so I've owned different classes. Uh, there's kids at Northern I see now, and there's even adults I see now that come up to me and remember me from doing classes, talk about my heritage, talk about my culture. Some of the questions which stick in my head, you know, the kids ask me, how long have I been in India? You know, forever since I was born. And I didn't know any Indians still lived. You used to live in a teepee. You know? You still hunt to get your stuff, you know. I gotta tell them now. No, where the uh, when the natives ha had to go and hunt and kill animals for food and use the skin for their uh, clothing, I said now we got shop food and Walmart and poles and stuff like that. To buy food now, we don't gotta kill animals for food. Now we got Econo Foods and Super One, and they looked at me kind of like, really, you know? I mean, some, some of the little kids anyway. And the older kids, they, they, they have questions that, you know, uh, uh, Bothwell near middle school one day, I said, how come Indians don't have to shave? What? How come Indians don't have to shave? I said, because... We were born not to shave because of the fact that we save on razors, we don't have to spend money on razors. When I joined the Marine Corps, I had the cleanest shave. Well, I was real instructor said I had the cleanest shave in boot camp because I never had to shave. And that's the reason natives don't have to have shave. But it was just a stupid question and I just want to answer it that way there, but I've had fun over the years, you know, and, uh, and there wasn't too much to do back in those days anyway, like I said. The kids nowadays, what we've got all these Nintendo games and PS2s and 3s and Wii's and all that stuff like that. It's something that we never had when I was a young kid. We had to find our own way of uh, keeping occupied, staying out of trouble. But when was when you add alcohol, you're going to get in trouble no matter what. Nowadays, I look at the kids nowadays, what they have to deal with. The problems they have, the drugs and alcohol they have. And I'm glad I didn't have it when I was young, because I would have probably ended up there also. Like I said in that prayer this morning, the, uh, the elders that have passed on, who live in four directions, with four colors, so, someone had mentioned the colors? Okay. 
Okay, they mention the colors. You know, each there are four directions, and these colors, a lot of them have different colors, as you find out. But the basic color is your east is yellow, your south is red, your west is black, and your north is white. And if you look at those four colors, and you look in the east, that's when the sun comes up. The sun comes up, brings a new day. It also is a direction, I, uh, I, I don't know if the other name from America mentioned it, but that's usually for youth, the young people. If you go to the south, that's red, when you think of our women, our women sit in that direction, our mothers, sisters, grandmothers. You look to the west, which is black, that's for men. That's for the men, the brothers, dads, grandmas, grandpas. When you go to the north, you're looking at white, looking at grandma and grandma. The film has been more nucleus. So there's your four directions of life. But you also look at those four colors. Yellow, red, black, and white. Those are also the four races of the world that we live in. You got your black race, yellow race, red race, and white race. 